Over the past few months, I've installed all the longitudinals. That includes the backbone, the stringers, the tangents, and the shear clamps. The backbone is in the middle of the boat. It consists of a few plywood panels that came with the kit. I just had to glue those together and then fit them in the slots that were pre-cut into the bulkheads. Except the notches were all too small and so I spent hours making them bigger using a file. After I was finally able to fit the backbone into the slots, I added some epoxy fillets to secure it. And this is what making epoxy fillets looks like. Next came the stringers here. I bought slats that were about 3 meters 60 long and so I had to always scarf two together to make them long enough. In order to do a scarf, you cut a 1 to 12 bevel into the slats and then you glue together the overlapping surfaces. As always clamp everything together overnight. I found out later that it would have been easier to clamp each stringer separately, so that's what I did going forward. After I had long enough slats I also had to round them off again, so that I wouldn't get any sharp edges. For that I used the router bit that it is pulled over the edge. pre-cut into the bulkheads to receive the stringers, but they were also too small. Just like with the backbone, I also added epoxy fillets to glue the stringers to the bulkheads. There are two special sort of stringers um, called the tangents, which is um, this and this one. As you can see, they're covered with plywood, so the stringer below is a bit smaller than the other ones. And then there's 6mm plywood on top. plywood only bends in one direction, the tangents actually are made up of many small pieces of plywood that are glued on separately. Lastly, I added the shear clamps. These are basically also stringers, but twice as big. They're attached to the bulkheads too, where the deck meets the hull. 
For those, there were no pre-cut notches. Um, instead, they were glued to the bulkheads using small wooden cleats. These were different at every bulkhead, and so I had to make each one of them separately by hand. of the shear clamps also had to be beveled. The tricky part is that the bevel changes over the length of the shear clamp. What I did was first to use a circular saw to cut a 30 degree angle. Then I installed the clamps and after that I used my sander to just sand off all the rest. That worked pretty well, so now I can start installing the hall panels. 